so if anyone is join if anyone is join newly for this session if they wanted to know more about this session you can call me or you can whatsapp me for this number okay we can discuss offline this is my number which is on whatsapp and i am available on this number if you want me to more about this training if you are joining newly you can connect me that number then we can discuss further okay so <clears throat> so we discussed yesterday the yesterday sql uh, introduction so today we are going to discuss about type of sql statements uh, so as per the stand structure query language oracle has divided into or categorized into five sub languages those are all called ddl dml dcl tcl dql or drl so within these sub languages there are many commands will be there so we can discuss one by one today and accept these commands accept these commands we cannot write a single statement in our sql except this means cannot write a single statement in our sql so that's why really these commands are very very important so along with these commands you should know about the syntax for each command then only you can write a statements or you can do the manipulation i mean update or you can do the, do the delete or you can perform the updation so any can perform. okay Now first, D D D L, data definition language. D D L stands for data definition language. So, data definition statements are used to define tables or objects, database structures or schemas. So, by using these commands, by using these commands, we can define the, any object, either a table or view or sequence. or synonym anything to the database and we can define the structure of a structure like uh, so for for one one thing one structure will be there like table one structure view one structure or schemas so i will let you know about the schema today what is schema and how to create it <coughs> okay next these are the five commands or the data definition language create alter drop truncate rename so these are the five uh, commands are is called as a the data definition language so before going to that what is schema what is schema schema is a nothing but it is a user it is a user so any database or any like uh, uh, any tables or anything which is created which is created so a collection of collection of related database objects resides to one user is called as a schema so collection of related database objects so how what is our data relational database uh, database management it store the it store the interrelated data right that means one table is having relationship to another table and one and one each other the same way the collection of related database objects resides to resides means belongs to one user is called as a schema so that means who ever is having access to the database those all are the having one separate schema so when they create any database objects so that belongs to their schema only until unless they give permission no no one can access it now <clears throat> now so i have created one username one username so that belongs to one separate schema for the user so within the database there are multiple schemas is available schema is a nothing but one user who is having access to that so whatever i saved for my schema that will saved in within my schema schema is some separate space it will be allocated for separate user that is called schema next 
क्रिएट क्रिएट इज यूज टू क्रिएट इज यूज टू क्रिएट न्यू डेटा बेस ऑब्जेक्ट और टेबल सो डेटा बेस ऑब्जेक्ट आई सेड राइट ऑलरेडी सो क्रिएट इज यूज टू क्रिएट न्यू डेटा बेस ऑब्जेक्ट सो बाय यूजिंग क्रिएट कमांड वी कैन क्रिएट एनी डेटा बेस ऑब्जेक्ट एनी डेटा बेस ऑब्जेक्ट let us see how to create a table i think already i have shown you in last sessions how to create a table i have already discussed with you here see how to create a table in table section i have explained you so the syntax for the table creation syntax for the table creation is create table table name so create is a command it is indicating that i am creating one database object what is the database object that that keyword you have to mention so here what we are going to create we are going to create a table that's the reason i mentioned table as a keyword so if you are creating a if you are creating a if you are creating a view you have to mention create view create view if you are creating a sequence then you have to mention create sequence then sequence name yes see underscore something then here also view name v underscore one so <coughs> the create is a common for the all all objects creation the keyword will get change on the on the structure of a structure of a table or view it will be different so so create table table name then open parenthesis then column name then data type then size size of the data type how much size size of the column how much size it has to allow then column name to and data type then size this all the things we discussed when we when we discuss about the table if you guys missed that class before i think that is a fourth class about the data types the table creation and you can reach out to me i will provide you the link you can go through that class if anyone is missed so the syntax for a table is creation create table table name column name data type then size column name to data type then size so we can create n number of columns up to 1000 columns we can create so now i am creating one table i am creating one table so now you guys need to me read you guys need to me read that me how i how to create a table i think you already joined the previous session right you can you can you can tell me i can write a query how we can create a table now i wanted to create one student table i wanted to create one student table okay tell me guys how to create a student table what and all information we do create table student yeah, so create table s student. number yeah we have to remember that we have to open a parenthesis okay student number what is the data type of student number guys number integer yeah either number or either integer so if you give integer it will take it will take uh, maximum 38 digits for us that's not required so we can declare a number okay <clears throat> number so i am giving as a data type size 4 next l <coughs> next what and all columns required s name yeah s name, yes, name. yeah Data type. Yes, phone number. Uh, name var care two. Yeah, very good. Var care two. Then twenty total. Size. Uh, yeah, yeah, very good. Ten. Size. Yeah. Next. Is yes, phone number. Yeah. Age number. Before that, if you are maintaining this, 
like uh, any institution the order is like this only right phone number or fee these things will come from last or gender and so date of birth i am taking date of birth so what is the data type for the date of birth guys date yeah date or yeah very good date of join date yeah very good next fee number number yeah number data type declaring one five so here why i didn't provide the size for this main other reason guys because we don't take system date yes yeah, ladies and system. yes very good right we should not declare the size for the date as per the standards of the our sql we should use the date and we need to leave then automatically oracle server will allocate some space for that based on the date next next gender worker worker so do we need to require uh, require me do we need to declare as a worker data type here we discussed about the uh, gender column by where we need to declare the car where we need to declare the worker to we discussed on the fourth class very clearly we can declare declare car because it's a it's a fixed character. length data type it is a fixed length data type so um, always we give gender m or f so male or female if you give where cat to the storage will uh, like not required right so we can declare care why i didn't provide the size for this it means that it will going to take single character yeah by default care will take one byte so you no need to provide so what we are going to insert we are going to insert either m either f so you no need to declare that one so that is one byte then phone number so what is that number yeah number then what i have to put 10 so you you need to give 15 to or 20 because we doesn't know the students is belongs to indian number or we doesn't know the student is belongs to some other like another countries so if if the country is belongs to europe or some other uk the uh, the phone numbers will get start start plus 300 or four something so it will take longer than 10 digits okay if you are working for a indian indian project then you can declare as a 12 some people will get store plus 91 some people they store always direct number so always better to your practice of number of 12 so plus 91 will get you country code must when you are dealing with the database table is created thank you guys let us check <clears throat> i wanted to the sir without uh, yeah tell me what's your doubt without giving size to the, this number also it will work right so how much data it will take i tried in sql developer sir uh, so that's why i'm asking for number i'm no, no, not no, no. giving any yeah. size so i understand that what it will accept it but my question is for example i am creating some one table just a number how much bytes it will take if i didn't declare it table is created how much bytes will take guys this one how much bytes it will get stored it will take guys zero Zero. One. Oh, two or like. For example, I am inserting the data. One row created. Another row created. Thirty-eight. Another row created. Yes, sir, but so uh, see phone number is not 
more than 10 or 15 right so that's why we yeah see it is undefined undefined yes when you yes. when you define the size when you define the size the maximum it okay. will take 38 when you define the size see for example here i am creating one more table the number number i have taken number i have taken is some 40 while you are defining it is not take because by default it will be 1 to 38 it is undefined okay. value so the, our storage will get waste so if you declare 15 it won't allow more than 15 so that means this column phone number column the maximum size is 15 bytes only so that our oracle our sql server will allocate the space for this for 15 bytes only 15 bytes only if you declare like this it will define as it, it will define as undefined so it will accept n number of row, n number of bytes so by that time our storage will get waste so you did not declare you should not declare as okay, like this. Sir. Okay, sir. Got it? Okay, sir. In the case of integer, if we are using integer, yeah, although it's a number, so in that case also we can define uh, or we should not define here. Yeah? I already discussed this one in the uh, data types. So when you are when you are declaring the integer part, when you are declaring the integer part. So you should not provide any any size. See any size. You should not declare any size. But by default, it will take it will the integer when you declare it will convert it to the number data type only with the maximum size of 28, 38 bytes. See. So I declared as integer, but it has connect converted to number. Then maximum size is. 38 bytes. So that's already that's already discussed. See, integer data type will be converted as number data type with the maximum size is 38. Bytes. Okay. Now I wanted to know our our student table. I wanted to know our student table. What and all columns is there and what type of data it will insert? Because if you are joining newly to the organization, already the existing people they left right so they have created some tables so if you are working on the tables uh, inserting the data or retrieving anything inserting the perspective or uh, retrieving the perspective you should know the column names what and all data they have declared like that right so by that time i need to check it how to check it guys select start from table student so we can give that is retrieve the data I wanted to know now the what and all uh, tables has been declared and uh, for that tables, what type of data, uh, what type of data types has been declared. How to describe the table guys? Right. Use the word keyword describe. Describe yeah. DES. That is called describe. Now DES is the command is the to describe the table. Now I can see so that I can insert the data happily sort of because of this condition. Now you mm -hmm. because of the because of the control the data. This is controlling the data, right? More than four bytes. This column cannot allow because we declared as number data type. So here, the here this number data type is controlling the data which is inserting into the yes number that is either less than or equal to four, either four bytes and below that. Okay. Now <clears throat> the table has been the table has been created. So now you know right how to create the table or any database object. Now we discuss about the table. And we can discuss about the other objects when they when the topics has been uh, when the task, uh, topics come like index uh, th those all the things we discuss there only. Okay. Now I wanted to give some heads up to you guys. This is 
uh, now we are going to discuss about the schema creation or user creation this is not related to the sql developer this is related to the dba administrator so when you join the organization they will they will they will provide you the access for you they will they will create one username and they will provide you so that is not uh, your work but even though you have to work in in your mission right for practice purpose once you install this software so you have to create one username so how to create the schema or username guys anyone knows can i get any answers from anyone <coughs> create a schema and a schema name and the syntax for the user creation the syntax how to create a user <coughs> okay let me let me tell you for user creation user creation user password create user username create user username identified by password identified by password that is the user creation then after that for every statement what you have to give guys delimiter then that is called one statement then only oracle server or sql buffer will get will get perform this action after this delimiter and enter now i wanted to create one user create user <coughs> username is dev identified by password is dev123 okay let me let us create one let us create one now you observe i said right it is not, we doesn't have access see for example you are one user which you are having access one team member is joined to the organization the team member uh, that one 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 new guy joined to the your team for his database access is required so you can't create that database required uh, database access because that is that will be taken care by database administrator you you doesn't have access to provide them access also now let us think that uh, le, 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 uh, le, let us take one example that one dev user has, uh, has joined in your team now you want to provide the access to him so by dev 123 what is this guys by seeing this what you understood <coughs> why i am unable to create access for my team member dev is one team member he, who is join newly to the my team can i can i get any answers from anyone can i get any answers from anyone right guys if it is wrong also that's not a problem so now we are the users i am one user for the this database so i doesn't have admin admin permissions who will have admin for your permissions in real time dba dba is full form is database administrator for every database for every database for every database there will some administrators is there the those people will take care of the those people will take care of the admin part for user creation for table space extension all the things will taken care by the dba people for every organization to maintain any software if you take tableau tableau developers will be there tableau administrator will be there so if you take the java java a software some admin people also with server side admin people 
for every technology for any database for those things one administrator will be there who will taken care by the admin part the access related and um, schema extension related table space extension related and um, on a temp data deletion related if temp is for example in your mobile if temp like some catch will get, if increase your mobile get will slow right in our um, system also temp temp space will be uh, there temp temp files based on the transaction these all the things will be will be created by default so if you want to delete it we can delete it but in real time we can't delete all those stuff those things are taken care by the administrator so what you need to do you have to raise one ticket and you have to indicate that guy to there is a temp space is fulfilled in our application so you have to it has been breached then you have to take and care that will be taken care by support team <coughs> for every application there will be a support team as well so we are the developer we need to take and care those things some l3 perspective it's may required some project they will act like a developer and as well as the support like l3 sometimes you need to take care those things so now i don't have permission because i am the one user for this database so how i need to create now so now i am connecting my sysas sys dba i am connecting as a dba password is sys now i connected to the dba as a dba so previously i connected as venki right now i connected as a dba so let us try to implement this one user dev conflicts with the another user that means user name dev conflicts with the another user or role name that means already dev user is there in the database so now i am creating one username as vts user is created so if you create user the user can connect to the database but that user cannot cannot utilize the cannot utilize the means they cannot utilize the resources is available in the see now select star from all underscore tables see sorry yes this many of the tables are there for all users all underscore tables mean for all users who ever is having access to the database there are some three different tables also is there right when it is going on down yeah i stopped the command line akka <clears throat> yeah okay let us close see that many tables will be there for the all users so but we can't access this until unless you have the permissions so so if you create a user then you can connect to the database so why it has came that many tables means i connected as a dba right 
that many tables are there now let me connect it to the which user i have created connect vts password is vts123 so invalid username or password so vts123 only we have given right think caps lock <coughs> See, user VTS, uh, VTS lacks creation, creates session privileges. So login denied. That means user has been created, but he doesn't have permission to the connected to the database, and he doesn't have permissions to the he access with the database. So <clears throat> after creation, after creation, you should provide. You should provide. grant permission also grant connect to grant who is user grant user what is user name guys vts then grant connect grant connect resources to vts see see now grant is succeeded grant connect resource to venki now let's try to connect with the venki connect vts password is vts123 now you can able to connect see after db has provided the connect and resource permissions also so that he can connect to the database then he can utilize the resource resource is nothing but what is available so what you need to follow guys for the user creation so you have to you have to connect it to the database you have to connect it to the sys database connect it to as a sys dba then you have to use the you have to use the this command to create any user here username will come after that you have to provide the grant permission also so that means i am i am granting the user to connect to my database and using the resources also to to dev here got it these two commands you have to remember for user creation connect to sysdba how to connect to sysdba connect ccs sysdba then password is password is sys so you will get all those things while you are inserting the data uh, sorry while you are creating the database software installing in your mission i will provide you one short video how to install it so everything will be there okay you no need to worry <coughs> for user creation okay now i am connecting again back to my venki password is venki password i use in caps lock so it's okay. so now you know right guys how to create a user and how to create a table that is that is the creation of a table or database object now let's move into the alter part alter part so for the general meaning for the alteration what is the general meaning of alteration guys making changes making the change in the table anything record no generally for example if you went and your your jeans pant is have is too long so what you will do tell him to the do, uh, do the alteration what you will do Ch what changes is changes is doing the existing part so if you give jeans pants to him do the alteration he can't do with the existing object right the jeans pant is a object for the tailor so he will do the changes for the for the existing object so now so the alteration is used to 
modify the structure of a table what is structure guys for a table how to do the how to see the structure of a table describe yes describe so student <coughs> student now let us i am inserting insert into table student student just insert student just inserting for only for some columns this one you don't need i will tell you again insert when you, when we discuss about the insert command okay so what is s number so i am giving s number yes 1 2 3 4 5 okay student name is some asik so can i insert this row guys yes why it is not inserting no the size is extra student student yeah. number size okay okay yes no. very good so here we are trying to insert we are trying to insert five bytes but we declared as four, four bytes one. four bytes that's the reason it's not allowing to us we are not allowing to us oracle compiler is not allowing us to us to insert the data to insert the data so what do you need to do guys but my requirement is i have received on requirement i have to insert i have to insert the data in real time more than this declaration of a database a data set see for now i declared four bytes i wanted to insert the data it is having around 10 bytes how to do that item yeah yes now this is the structure of a table to see the structure we can use describe the table okay now so what you, what we can do by using alter command we can do the changes in the structure so we can use we can change the we can do the changes or modify in our structure of a table either column names column name column name change either the database name change either the data data uh, data uh, size change either the table name change also so by using alter option we can modify the structure of a table structure in the sense table name it will come what and all column name is there and what and all data types are there what and all size of the data types are there okay now within the alter within the alter command within the alter command so what we used to do with the alter it is used to it is used to it is used to modify the structure of a table structure of a table right so within the alter command there will be a four keywords <clears throat> so you have to use based on the your requirement you have to you have to think that which one you have to use so based on the requirement you have to follow so add modify rename rename and drop these are the these are the all keywords of a alter so within the alter we do have four keywords okay now yard yard how it will work yard can someone tell me if anyone knows by using yard what we can do yard with alter we can add the entries which have not been passed before e it is used to it is used to add a new column now my requirement is new column to the existing table existing table so by using add we can by using add we can add the new column to the existing table existing table by default the column the column is 
added to the added to the last place of table name last place of last place of the table name so that means here all are some table column names are there so if i add any column it will add in the last place it cannot add first or it cannot add middle it will add last and the size of the what is the data type of the column so by using add we can add new column to the existing table so if you add any new column it will add it to the last place of the table last place of the table next we can do we can see like um, in real time how to use that one we can practice it in sql buffer so let us discuss the modify now modify by using modify by using modify so modify is used to change the data type data type data type increase or decrease we can change the i mean we can change the data type increase i means here here if you want to increase the data type so we have to use this one use it to change the data type increase or decrease increase or decrease the column type and increase and decrease to the column so what is this how to do is that one column syntax is column type column type and size column type and the size you have to declare like this okay modify is used to modify is used to change the data type also we can change the data type for example here number is there but your requirement is you need to change the data type into character or var char so you can change by using modify and or else you need required to only change the increase the size or decrease the size so you can change that one also by using modify okay next rename so rename here rename will act two ways rename will act as a two ways here rename also here one more here also rename is there what is data definition language within the alter also rename and drop is there so drop separate command is there rename separate command is there those drop and rename will work as a keywords or sub commands for the alter as well so here when you see when you see here drop and alter is there those are the separate commands those two commands will work as a separate commands like how alter create will work how create and alter and this will work as a sub commands or keywords for the alter so by uh, along you see whatever we discuss here those all are related to the alter because we are dealing with the alter with the modify alter with the add alter with the rename by using rename along with the alter along with the alter it is used to it is it is used to rename it is used to rename a column rename a column of existing table existing existing table what you understood guys about the statement rename is used to rename a column of existing table so now here here i mentioned as s number s num s o s n o that is a student number my requirement is i wanted to rename this column as yes number full form yes n u m b a b e r yes number by that time we can use the rename rename option rename keyword along with the alter to rename the column of the existing table 
so here one condition something to be noted so these things you noted i mean you need to remember or you need to note somewhere something to be noted so only one column only one column can be renamed at a time that means we can rename a column only only one column at a time so only one column can be renamed at a time okay next to drop so later we can discuss when rename part will come like here after with the rename we can discuss by using rename we can rename a table also that we can discuss there okay next drop drop tell me if if you know anyone guys can someone tell me what is drop along with the alter or else only drop also you can tell me drop is used to delete the table when we want to drop any columns of the table along yeah. with the alter yes along with the alter if you see here drop is used to used to drop a column of a existing table so we can drop we can drop table also that we can discuss without alter command okay now let us move i will tell one one requirement now you guys tell me you guys tell me which command i need to use it okay now describe the table i am doing it so now my requirement is i wanted to i wanted to maintain my data like i wanted to maintain the student address as well i wanted to student address as well now now i wanted to student maintain the student address as well now which command i used to use, we use add. to yes very good so we can use we can use add command to add the address column for the table address column for the table okay got it right requirement when to use so if you want to add any column then we can use it now now my requirement is i wanted to i wanted to add a new column to maintain the address so the syntax for the syntax for the add syntax for the add syntax syntax for the add alter table table name alter table you have to remember see i can say no need to remember you may ask me there are many syntax is coming how do i remember how do i remember so so going forward you will get many syntaxes also that you no need to like by heart or do anything always practice 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 so when you practice it automatically those command will be reflect in your mind so when you enter when you remember the like uh, when you get a requirement so i need to add one address column so how do you need then automatically it will come in your mind so until unless if you practice it you can't remember anything so while explaining you may think it is very easy language but if you are not practice it is a more complex so when you practice then it's very easy to learn okay i can suggest you guys always practice practice alter table table name then yard yard is a keyword which we are reading yard column name then that means which column which column which column you are adding then data type then size then parenthesis sorry delimiter so this is called delimiter so got it guys alter table table name yard is a keyword and what column you wanted to add that you have to enter here then data type of the column then data type of the column 
then size so now what is our requirement guys what is our requirement guys address address so i need to add address column create sorry alter tell me alter table alter so all it will be same while you are doing what you will do create create table table name then alter table table name for everything it will be same what is our table name student next yard is a keyword yard what i am doing i am adding a column so you have to mention the yard so what i am adding the column what is that column address column address column then what is this what is the data type for the address column guys var char var char two then so address it may long right so i am giving one 30 bytes okay table altered table altered now now again you can describe the table and check whether table is altered or not see yeah table is added right yeah sorry column is added to the table right after you add after you use the alter command with add so all ddl commands this is very important you need to remember all ddl ddl commands implicit commit implicit commit that means you no need to commit after alter after creation anything you no need to you no need to commit the data by using the commit command so you no need now you just remember that all ddl commands are implicit commands implicit commit so now where we can discuss about that we can discuss in we can discuss in dml commands about the implicit command commit and about the explicit commit okay we can describe we can discuss about the implicit and explicit commands there you just remember that you just remember that all ddl commands are implicit commit okay is it column is added or not guys yes yes okay so so here if you are adding one column you have to follow this syntax now my requirement is i wanted to add two columns at a time or more than one column my requirement is i wanted to add more than one column okay i wanted to add more than one column so what is the syntax guys alter table table underscore name then add now you have to open the parentheses here then you have to mention what and all columns you want what and all columns you want now i want to add branch because student is not there the student is belongs to add branch which belongs to which branch i want to add okay next you have what here here you have to mention the column 1 then data type data type of the column then size data type of the column then size of the column then column name 2 data type of the column then size then you can give n number of columns then close the parenthesis close the parenthesis now you can tell me guys example you can tell me you can tell me example guys here example is we added one column now i wanted to i wanted to add the requirement is that now i wanted my i now my requirement is i wanted to maintain the student table the student is belongs to which branch and 
student is belongs to which state? Can I go with the single guys? Can I go with? Can I go with? Can I go with yard of like this? Two yards, two columns, more than one column. Got it, my requirement, guys. Yes. Got yes. it, my requirement. So yes. what I need to do now? What I need to do? My requirement is, them. yeah, I wanted to add two columns. One is belongs to branch. One other is belongs to state. state. Alter table. Table. table name is student. Praveen Brackets. and uh, Arvind. Add. Praveen and Arvind and Naresh. Naresh, this is the first time I am running. Can I get video screen? Yes, you do get Rohi uh, Naresh. You can contact me post this session. Okay. And uh, Praveen and Arvind, my humble request, you guys can respond like on. Uh, you guys can speak up when I when I ask you because sure, sir. I can't see at a time and come uh, every time come and see in the chat. That will be distracted to other server. My humble request, guys. Alter table student, then yard. Add. Then uh, yeah, next. Tell me. Parenthesis open. In, yeah, open parenthesis. Then branch. Yeah, branch. Where care two size. Yeah, branch is a string data type. So you have, you have to use where care. Where care. Or where care. Anything. Okay. Size. Then. Hmm. Size, comma. Close the parentheses for the size. Then comma. Yes. Then state. Yeah, state. Where care two. Where and care two. Size. Yeah, very good. Size is again for state. I am giving in Close parentheses for growth. One more. Yes, very good. Okay. Copy and giving here. Table is altered. Table is altered. So let us describe the student table. See. So where it is, where it is uh, came, guys. Like whether the last place of the column, whether the first place, last. first place of the last. column. So that's what last. I made this statement. That's what I made this statement. By default, the column is added to the last place of the table last place of a last place of the table okay any any doubts guys on alter part for adding one column adding number of columns okay well and good next oh sorry guys i thought to create spool file to provide the spool file for this like what and all we are doing, the, dealing with the database here, we can create on separate SQL file. So it will get stored in our local mission. So I thought to share for this. Tomorrow can you guys can just uh, like remind me, uh, create spool file before start the session. Okay, so that I can share the session. So everything it will get stored in the spool file. So if I share no, you can, that while you are practicing or something that will be helpful for you. This is my previous batch um, session. See like that it will show. See, exception of a two is table or EMP table or anything. So you can open in uh, like notepad. You can check for your reference while you are practicing. The, the, this file will be shareable. Okay, I will be share it with you. So, but it is my previous session. So tomorrow onwards, you just remember me, guys. Create the school file so that we can, so I can share with you. You can, for your reference, you can see or you can practice by using that one as well. Okay? Can someone remember, right? Can someone okay. remind me, right, tomorrow? Okay, yes. thank you, guys.
So thank you. Next, coming to the modify part. So one more twenty minutes. So we, I think everyone is all there for today, right? So modify is some tricky part. So in any no other trainer will be tell you these things in outside. But the, the, when you deal with the real time, so these all the things very 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 important with the modify. So they will tell like just the statement and they will tell you. There are some cases which you need to follow. Those cases I will let you know now. Those cases. That's very very important, guys. The syntax for the the syntax for the modify modify is same. This is also tell same. This is common right for everything. If you are if you are dealing with the table alter alter table table name. If you are dealing with the creating new table. Create table table name the same way. Alter table table name. Student student area table. So what is our keyword guys here? Modify. 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 So because based on the our requirement now my requirement is I want to I want to modify the modify the I want to modify the data type size. Data type size of the student name column. Year ten. I wanted to increase the data type size. So what you need to do, guys? You have to go for the modify because modify is used to change the data type and increase or decrease, increase or decrease the data types, data type size, data type size. Data type size to the column. Okay, modify is used to change the data type and increase or decrease is the increase or decrease the data type size to the column. So now, what is our requirement? Our requirement to increase the size for the student column. So before that, let us insert some data so that it will be. More comfortable to understand. So insert into student values. So I am giving SL number is one zero zero one. Student name is from Aravind, comma data birth is I am giving data birth. Okay, let us say this is date also. So you may confuse if I wonder. So data date date should be insert. How to insert a date? Right like this. Saint John, 1990. I think we discussed in the data type part. Did we discuss? Hello. Guys, did we discuss the data type part? Like while inserting, what you need to follow? Okay, no worries. Okay, date of join us. This date I have given. Fee is some ten thousand. Next gender is M. Next phone number is something. Next address is something you just you can give. Next branch is. Something, some branchy address you can give like some other city, Tirupati. Branch also, branchy Chittur branch. Aral Chittur Tirupati only you can give Tirupati. Next state is AP. Why data is not answer? Inserting here, guys. Column not allowed here. That means state column is state column is not inserting this data. Why? We declare the archive to. We are inserting the string only, and it is 15 bytes. But we are inserting only two bytes. Why this Oracle compiler? I mean SQL buffer is compiler is not allowing us to insert the data. 
AP is a particular in a key one answer. No. Okay, no worries. So, whenever you are inserting the character data or string data, what you need to follow, guys? I clearly mentioned many times when we discuss about in four, four things. The reason I said plan us on words, it's very, very, very important. Whatever we discuss, that will be useful for only in this class. I mean, that fourth class onwards. How to specify the string data, guys? How to specify the string data? With semicolon, sir. Semicolons. No. Within the... So if you are inserting the string data, you must use the single quote. Within the single quote. Then only Oracle server or compiler will understand that that is a string data. Okay, whenever you are inserting the data in character or character, any column, because our C lob, those all are the character data types, right? Character data types, card data types, where care to data type, and where uh, care data type and where care to data type. Okay, and C lob, these all are the character data types. So, Whatever the string or character you are inserting to the character data, state is a where character data type. So that means it will allow only string data, I mean character data. So you must follow the single quotes. Only compiler will understand that it is a string data. Then it will allow to you insert. So now who? You just, now AP, we have changed it. See, now again, why it is showing in Tirupati, guys? Column not allowed here. Sorry? Inverted comma in the inverted comma, we have to use it. Yes, that is also Sorry, string guys. data. So I have to use single quote, within single quote. I think somebody is telling semicolon. Maybe they, they, their perspective, they wanted to tell that it is a, uh, like, uh, like this only they have to insert. But the okay. pronunciation, the word they are using different. I think so. So that is single quote, okay? Single quote. No worries. If it is wrong, also you should respond. So now I changed all the character string or string data into the single quote. Single quote. Now, yeah, sorry, M also is showing that. M also string data only, right? So you have to use single data. Column is not allowed here. What is that? Sorry, guys, I think network issue. Why it is not allowing, guys? Can someone tell me? The date you should also be mentioned in. Jiva, Sorry? You did not mention the string. It should be in the yes. form of the number 1701 0, Okay, let us change that one also. The expected date, what number? See, when you are inserting the date data type, date data, so we are inserting the date here. So either it will be 0, 1 or John or anything. It's an auto matter. When you use 1990, when you use 19, only 90, that's not at all matter. When you use 0, 01 or when you 0, 02. So when you are inserting the date data, when you, you did not mention inverted commas. Yes, yes. 
so when you are inserting the date column when you are inserting the date into the date column the oracle compiler cannot understand that the data so you must use the single quotes so for date and char character or string data for date data and string data you must use the single quotes for insert the data now one row is inserted so for number we have not declared that's not a required so now you may ask me here sys date also string data why we haven't mentioned this single quotes but it has inserted why why guys can i get answer from anyone why even though we mentioned sys date uh, uh, sys date is a string only right but it is not read any error right why it by default convert into the date and uh, consider the inverted comma only by default how it will convert by default how it will convert this one also we discussed in date data types this date means system data, data. Not, uh, yes uh, input values and directly yes very good see sys date what it will return guys sys date sys date is a date function by default what it will return sys date is a date function it will return the current date and time so when you use the column as date it will return only date when you use the column as time stamp it will return along with the time so here we do so here in which column we are going to insert only date so sys date will return date only so what this is a function right that's the reason it is not a string if it is string you have to mention this is a date function so date function return the date only so the oracle compiler will check that we are inserting the data into the date column date column and we use the date function only so that automatically insert the date uh, date that is the system date now you can see select star from student how you can see see sl number name year c we use the sys date see 26 jan today date today date today date fee then tripati branch let us insert some other rows as well one row inserted you don't think i am using same data that's not a worry to better you understanding purpose i am inserting the data okay three rows is there right so three rows we have insert the data now come to the part of modify come to the part of modify the, the syntax of the modify is table called our table what is the syntax guys Tell me, can someone tell me the syntax for the alter table of modify? Table, table name. Table name. Table name then modify. Column. Modify. Modify. Column. Column. Column name. Column name. And size. And data type size. Column name. Then we have to give data type. Then size. Right. Yes. This is the syntax. Now let us take one example. Let us take one example. Now this is this syntax is this syntax for which one, guys? This syntax for modify to modify single. one single column, column or else single column, single single column to modify single column. Now. i wanted to modify some two columns requirement is modify two columns what is the syntax guys alter table name, table name modify bracket parenthesis yeah, open parenthesis so see that is correct only bracket but bracket in the sense all brackets will be there angular brackets 
the esperance is the nasu so that so when you are dealing with the software related functionalities so try to use the terminology of related to that terminology that is called terminology okay open parenthesis then column column name column name column then column, column name another size column name two so anything is changing guys everything is same only no so here only changing add here only changing modify syntax for everything is same only keywords is changing based on the requirement here key here requirement is adding new column here requirement is changing the, uh, changing the existing, existing column. column that's the reason modify so now my requirement is i wanted to my requirement is mm, yeah my requirement is i wanted to i wanted to increase the size of s name increase the size of s name remember one thing guys the student table is having data student table is having data see student table is having data okay now i am trying to increase the size of the data type the s name is the data type is varchar to here i declare 10 but my requirement is i wanted to insert the 15 bytes so that is not possible right now right so i got requirement in real time i wanted to insert the more than 10 bytes data so what i need to do i need to alter this table to increase the size data type size so to so uh, by using what we can do we can do with the alter with modify tell me now tell me now alter table student alter table student student modify why we uh, modify tell me uh, s name yeah why we are now teaching uh, open parenthesis guys we are dealing with single column yes single. very good then modify why we used to modify because we are going to change we are making changes to the column yeah we are making the changes to the existing column we are not adding any new okay next tell me s name s name Data type varchar. So what is existing data type? Varchar two. Two size ten. Ten is there, right? Now I wanted to increase fifteen. Table is altered. Table is altered. Now you can check. You can check the table. Here, what is the size, guys? Ten. 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 Let us see the describe the table again. Describe table. Describe student. See. Fifteen. Is it changed, guys? Ten to fifteen. Yes. Yes. So, so table is already having the data. So when we are having the so okay that one I will let you know okay later. So now we can able to we can actually change the increase the. data type size increase the table type size now let us try to decrease the table space size now for decrease also so now 15 is there right now again i wanted to decrease 10 now 15 it's become right so now my requirement is i wanted to decrease the size of the data type how to decrease guys the same can we write the same syntax or do we need to mention anything same same now i am dealing with the 10 decrease table is altered table is altered now description of i mean describe describe the table data student so now it's become 10 10 now let us try to give 
see now again it has nine nine now you can come to the part which column arvind right we are doing s yes name how many bytes data is having s yes name guys total how many bytes seven seven bytes let us try to alter the table below seven so now let us try to do the seven table is table is altered see again it's become seven so now i am then below seven i am doing six now decrease column why it is not decreasing guys because bytes are more than already bytes. already so less than less than the higher value than the mentioning yeah okay the the table the column is already having the data more than 6 bytes 7 bytes is having that's the reason it is not allowing us so what do you understood guys what do you understood when you are alter the table or when you are uh, increase or decrease when you are increase the data type when you are increasing the data type so when you are increase the data type can we do it guys yes yes so what what i have to make is a statement here tell me what you understood so this all very very important i said right to increase the to increase to increase the data type size to increase the data type size column no 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 what uh, uh, in character data right or string i mean char or var char to char or var char to data type data type you can increase you can increase you can increase when column we can increase the data type size you can increase the size when column contain when column contain the data understood that point guys understood this point guys yes 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 so even you can increase or try to increase here gender is one right you can increase for gender also gender is care of 6 bytes table is altered okay now see care i change it to 6 bytes so in in case of character and var char to data type in case of in case of character or var char to data type you can increase you can increase the data type size you can increase size when column contain the data so here column is contain the data right this column is having the data or not here column is having the data or not guys yes name yeah. so in case of increase in case of in case of increase in case of increase in case of character var char to data type you can increase the data type size when column contain the data in case of in case of decrease same character and var char to only in case of decrease so in case of decrease what you have to know the guys tell me the statement guys should not be less than the even it should not be less than the uh, assigned data yes yes in yes in case of decrease in case of decrease data type size should not be less than should not be less than the should not be should not be less than the Data less than the 
find insertion of your data or else already insertion of the data or else available the data okay in case of decrease data type should not be less than the we are not right once again less than the based on the data is available on the column or else based on the data based on the size based on the based on the size of data i mean data size or we can mention it as a max uh, maximum size of the data yeah okay that also not been see or else length also we can mention in case of decrease data type should not be less than the less than the based on the data size of a column or else length of a length of a length of a data size i mean data is having to the column that is also okay got it yes next so all guys already it's crossed 5 minutes you anyhow today we have leave only uh, so republic day right can i take another another like uh, 15 minutes till uh, or also 15 to 20 minutes guys to complete only alter part because we completed yard and completed modify almost another two cases also is there to discuss those things i will discuss with the two cases and these all are very simple remain only modify only tricky part i wanted to show you clearly that's the reason it is taking time i can say directly these two statements but you can't understand what is it. if i say every statement as a practical then you can understand it now you understand very clear right when i show you practically yes so that's what can i take another 15 minutes guys 15 to 20 minutes or else we yeah, can sure. we can continue tomorrow that's your wish you guys need to me tell what i need to do guys can yeah, i take thank you okay sir okay, thank you next next modify is in case of where car will Sorry guys, some noise. Okay, now in case of care and where care, we have checked. Can we check the in case of see date for date? We no need to check. Only care, care, where care, and number only. So what we left? Only number date type. Can we check the number date type, guys? Here number date type is five. For which column? Fee column. my requirement is i wanted to increase the size of fee column because fees i have changed as per my brand of the institution now so previously what is this guys fee column how much data type is there how much size 5 5 i am giving 10 table is alter see fee column is 10 here fee column is 5 so can we increase Yes, we can. So now the statement is same for the number data type also. In case of number data type, in case of number data type, you can increase. You can increase. you can increase size you can increase the size when column contain the data okay the same for character and number is the same now we can see the decrease what is where it will be here number it test c yeah, now sure. 10 right let us try to decrease the size now see here 10 is there right let us decrease the size see 
column to be modified must be empty to decrease the size see at the data which how much bytes is having guys for number data five. Five. only 5 bytes 10000 we have increased 10 so only 5 bytes but the column the column is now how many bytes is having now the column when we altered Nine. No, 10 10 even though we are decreasing 9 only so we yes. have 4 bytes extra right we have 5 bytes yes. extra the column is having only see you can see again i will show you just select star from select star from student see how many bytes guys fee column five five bytes but we have altered we have altered to here Nine. we have altered to 10 bytes yeah see the column is having 10 bytes right now see yes. whether 10 is there or not we have altered to 10 right we have increased now it is 10 mm. so you are having 5 bytes but what i am doing i am changing i am decreasing to 9 see previously in where cap to its work could right till the data yes. till the data is available in the column but in case of in case of number the column must be empty see column must be column to be modified must to be empty to decrease the precision or scale so number is storing the precision or scale only you know so that's a, that's a no matter how many bytes is having the column so in case of decrease the column must be empty clear guys any doubts anyone is having any doubts here mm -hmm. here till data is available in the column or length of the data or size of the data is available in the column it will allow to you the decrease decrease but in case of number the column must be empty so that's no matter how many bytes is having the column here 10 bytes but column is having 10 bytes extra but data is having only 5 bytes so in case of char or var char we can do the 5 bytes decrease but here we can't do single byte also because the the software has designed that in case of number the column must be in in case of number number data type in case of number data type the column must be empty in case of number data type column to be modified must be empty got it guys number yes clear guys yes so here is one question that uh, as you are if in real time we have to decrease the data size or the column column size which is of number data type in that case because it is not possible to de delete the record of that uh, of that field and then change the data type that will not be possible so what will be the alternate solution see If, um yeah in real time perspective you cannot get any any request for the decrease decrease okay because the that is all the real time data so mm -hmm. why we are saving the data for any business or anything for account holder this all the things we are in the re, we are in the world in a situation is data world so data everything should be captured even though you are in living the aadhar is creating and they are capturing our details the government of india so to measure anything for the government they can measure that this many of account hold aadhar cards are holders are there see now the situation is changed previously we doesn't have covid now covid is changed so how the government of india is measuring that we have done this many covid 
these many covid first dose second dose how they are measuring through aadhar card only no because they are they are doing the uh, they are giving the vaccination based on the aadhar card so you have to they are storing the details they are logging to the one portal covid covid portal then they are insert they are giving your id your aadhar id once you get the approval i mean otp you were to your mobile through from the aadhar site then they are entering then only they are giving to the uh, covid vaccination to you after otp insert then only if you were didn't get otp they will tell you to come tomorrow so how they are measuring we are doing this because the data should be captured for everything for any project or anything so that means you will get the requirement to extend you won't get any requirement to decrease in real time got it always you will get the decrease only you won't get decrease. because why you will get the decrease in why you won't get the decrease means if i create one table i got one requirement one flat file called from something uh, from other see now let let me show you this is the olympics data this is the olympics data so far so far from since olympics started till 2016 this is the data this is the data since two, uh, uh, so far like uh, when the olympics has started till 2016 we have data we have data see here here i will i will check what is the data is having the column so here only some six bytes or eight bytes is there i cannot declare eight bytes right i will declare maximum size of the name which is having the data maximum size so i can i cannot put like here is for example 20 bytes is there i will put maximum 25 i can i cannot put 2055 2000 something data bytes i cannot give right because because of my requirement only i will create the table so later you will get one more requirement which is having around 30 bytes so by that time they will ask you they will ask you to increase the size okay. so we can't decrease it right okay next let's move into the this part is okay next one more part is there these two is the character this is the number one more part now my requirement is for example i wanted to change i wanted to change something branch or address or state state so for example i wanted to change my requirement is that i wanted to change from one data type to another data type that means one group to another group so now state for example we indicate that there are some 30 or 32 states is there so we have given like uh, in our database we are maintaining the states is like one is from alphabetical order alphabetical order assam andhra pradesh 1 2 like that so now i don't want to maintain the ap or something else i can maintain the only the indication of the the indication of the states that means one is assam two is andhra pradesh like that okay so now i wanted to change into the number data type number data type from one group to another group that means var char is one group var char and character is one group only because they both are the they both are the allow to insert the the, the both capture the string data only so number is different group because it's capture the numeric data number data numeric data so now i wanted to change from one group to another group so already state is having state is having data right already state is having ap so let us try to change it to number data type let us change let us try to change it to number data type so how to change guys for number data type yeah table order table modify 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 state state Eight. 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 Eight.
So I wanted to convert. What do you, what do we need to mention, guys? See, you no need to give from which data type to which data type you are changing. You can directly give the column name from which what data type you want to change it, then data type size. See, column column to be modified must be empty to change data type. So yeah. so far we change we changed the size only, right? Now we are changing yes. the data type. So to change the data type, column to be modified must be empty to change the data type. In case of number, in case of number data type, in case of number data type, column to be modified must be empty to change data types, data type to one group to another group. One group to another group. From one group to change group. data type, one other group. Here, one group, what is the guys? Which group to which group you are doing? Yeah. Where cap to number. Number. Let us do within the group. Within the group. So, where car and number, where car and character both are within the group only, right? Yes. Yes. So, let us try to do the within the group. Now, D name is having how many bytes, guys? D name? Seven. Seven bytes. Now, let us try to do the D name. D name. So, what is the data type D name? S name in having. No, yeah, sorry, not S name. But D name. S name. S name is having which bytes, guys? Seven bytes. Seven bytes. Okay. What is the data type? Varcare 2. So, now, I, let us try to change the character. Yeah. Character with the seven lines. Yes. Table is altered. Altered. So that means that means character is supported. And so in case of character data type, column okay. to be modified in say within the group, within the group to change the data type, care to where care to to change the to change the data type. Data type character to where care or vice versa. Where care to or where care both are same only. Where care to or reverse or where care to to care where care to to care where care to where care. The column may or may not be empty. The column may the column may or may not be empty. We can write in this way the column may not require to be empty. We will tell you why I mentioned may or may not also. Okay. Here if you are a or no power. See, if you mention less than that, less than that, whether it will allow, for example, 7 is there, 7. If I put 6, it is not allow, right? Okay. That is reason I mentioned. Here, okay. one group to another group means one data type to another data type. Okay. Now, now I change it to CAR 6. For example, I am changing to 15. So now, so, with, so I am increasing the size only. I am not changing to data type. So I just increase the size. So I just increase the, now I just increase the size to 15. So already character is there, right? Character we modified. Now I just increase the size. Now let us change from care to where care to. Yes, name is where care to. Okay. So 15. 15. Understood, guys, what I'm trying to say. So previously, yeah. what we have done, we have changed it to where yeah. care to character we changed. Now I am trying to change character to where care. Now, now see which data type is having, guys? Student name? Yes, name yeah. is having which data type? Character. Now, yeah. now I am changing to 
ओनली Seven bytes, right? So when you are changing from changing from character to varchar and varchar to character with the same size, you are fifteen characters there. I change it to varchar. So again, varchar to character I change. Why it is cannot decrease column length because some value is too big. Why? May know the reason. That is the question first. Any question on question? The question is, the question is, character to where care and where care to character is working with the same size of the size, same size of the same size. Now when I try to decrease, when I see now character is there, I am trying to change to where care to. I am trying to decrease the size. Why? It this one we discussed in the fourth class. This one also. How? See. Okay. Let me give the some input. Character I have declared guys ten bytes, but mine is I have inserted seven bytes only. Remaining three bytes. What will happen, guys? It will take a space of three bytes. Some. Blank pads, it will apply. Blank pads, it will, will apply. apply. Blank or space, okay. In case of where to, it will only take five seven bytes. Where to? Mm -hmm. If I take where to, seven bytes I have inserted. Remaining three bytes, what it will do, guys? It will send back to the database. Yeah, it will send back to the database because. It it is the dynamic data type. It won't say it won't waste the size of the no. column or the size of uh, data. Or, I mean, it won't waste the storage. It won't apply any blank spaces for the remaining three. So now, now you can tell me why it is character is fifteen. Okay. Now my size is char fifteen. Now I am trying to insert insert uh, trying to change the data type is. Where cat two with the decreasing some size? Oh, because because the thing is that in character already it has applied the fifteen space or bytes. Yes, very good. So now, See when I here column is having the seven bytes. When I when I change it to char, when I change it to char, the remaining eight bytes it will apply the blank spaces. Remaining by uh, eight bytes, it will apply the blank spaces. So now you can ask me, how can I know that it will up? It's applied the blank spaces. You can show me the proof. I can show you the proof. Length of yes name. Length of yes name. From student. Lengthy th. See what is the data is having, guys? How many bytes? Seven bytes. Seven bytes. Why it is? Why it is in returning fifteen bytes? You can you can show me. You may get doubt. Like yes and number also you can put. See. R else you can put yes name also to understand better way. 
His name is having seven bytes by destroying fifteen bytes. Why, guys? Because it has been defined as fifteen as buffer. Yeah, remaining eight bytes. When you change it to data type into character, card, card data type with the fifteen size, then it's automatically apply the remaining remaining space here the right side trailing blanks trailing blanks we can call remaining space remaining eight bytes it will apply the blank space or blank part so now you can do one thing care to understand you i am doing now it is 15 right i am changing it to 20 table is altered now you can see the length see 20 why it saying the 20 guys here because we have increased the size so when i increase yes. automatically the remaining bytes it will say apply the blank space okay ah uh, now so that is the very important you need to know see for example you are writing a query in your real time like this select star from sorry select star from students students where 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 e name equal to aravind aravind see why it is showing invalid identity sorry this name right what and all data it will come you can see in in case of date in case of date we will discuss in the date functions there is one tricky part there you will get why data is not coming like that so now now it will apply the blank spots right that's the reason i am unable to i am unable to decrease the size when i changing into cr 13 because remaining it has applied already blank spots that's the reason 20 bytes now i can change apple to 20 apple to 20 now you can see because why it is worked guys where can we increase the size it power gone yeah might be laptop battery is over Uh, sir, you are on mute. Yeah, can you hear me, guys? Uh, yes, sir. Hello. See, due to yes, the please. power, 
due to the power uh, system there is no power like there is no battery backup it has raised the error uh, it has raised the pop up but i didn't remember that's reason it got disconnected sorry guys so here we change it to varcat to 20 varcat to 20 okay let us try to change again character care of 15 why it is not coming because when you change decrease when you change it to character the already the already character character applied the blank space blank pads so just you need to remember that in case of character that's the reason i mentioned the column may or may not be empty that's not required okay we can change it to care to where care and where care to character but when you change it to care the remaining space if you declare 20 but you have insert the data only 7 bytes the remaining space 13 13 bytes will apply the blank pads so by that time you can't decrease the size got it right yes yes any doubts guys no so that's all for today we can see the alter drop so already it's a two delayed so the remaining two we can see tomorrow so anyone is having any doubts for today session i am ready to take up no sir maybe when remaining no, guys has been disconnected some people when my power went i think it was a long session so Yes. yes, yes, yes. I thought to complete all alter because if I come tomorrow, says that you may get doubt. That's for the reason. Yes, 